Hey YouTube uh, go-kart people from T-Man's uh, go-kart subscribers. Uh, my name's Alex and uh, I'm here to show you how to rejet a Honda 6.5 clone. Um, a GX200 or the Lifan Harbor Freight kind of motors. Um, pretty straightforward, not too complicated. Um, takes about five minutes tops. It Take the bolt off the bottom of the float pole, drop the bowl, screwdriver, take the main jet, the emulsion tube out, new emulsion tube if you choose to do so, you don't have to, but I did, makes a big difference. Um, you put the new main jet in it, put it back together, turn your fuel back on, ready to go, starts first pull. So anyway, I'm about to show you how to do it, let's have a good time. Hey guys, well this is uh, my cart. And it's a old Manco uh, bingo cart, or dingo, excuse me. And uh, works really good. Um, got it for free. And I put this uh, six and a half Harbor Freight motor on it. And uh, haven't really done a whole lot to it yet. Um, I put in a bigger main jet. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I plan on doing some more advanced engine work to it, but not yet. So, um, this is where we're going to start. To actually rejet the carburetor, we do not need to remove the carburetor. Um, this is actually extremely simple. I didn't really remember this from when we did this last time. But all you need to do is pull that bolt right out of the bottom. That bolt threads up right into the main tube. So right under that bolt is the main jet. So, once we take that off, the bowl will come off, and we'll be able to get at that main jet. Alright, so I drain the gas out of the, the bowl, and now, if you see, you have the float, and this, right up in here, is where the jet is. This is where the fuel enters the fuel, uh, the fuel tube, the main jet tube. And what I'm going to show you here is this is about the two screwdrivers. And so, this screwdriver, you see how it has the wide spot here in the, in, the, in the blade? That won't fit far enough up into the tube to get the jet. This screwdriver is narrow and stays narrow. This will fit up in to get the jet out. Now what will come out with the main jet is the emulsion tube, which if you use the one from a, a GX160, here's the main jet, if you just tap, it should come out. So this is what came out of the carburetor. Here's your main jet, and this is the emulsion tube. Now this emulsion tube is out of a GX160. You can see how few holes it has in it. The other one, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so the emulsion tube on the left is the one from the GX200, and the one on the right is the one from the GX160. The one on the left has way more holes in it, more fuel flow, less fuel velocity, so you get lag in the bottom. This one has one big hole in the bottom so that the fuel can flow up through the middle of it, through the main jet, and gets a lot of velocity into the carburetor, better low end power, and it does have quite a bit more low end power. So what we're going to do, this is an 88 main jet, the stock one that's over here is a, a 70, that's what comes in these, is a 70. Really hard to start these when they're cold. Um, after I put the 88 in it, this one, 
starting got a lot better. Um, I'm going to give this 90 a shot and see how that works. Um, I haven't pulled a plug on it, so I don't really know how rich it is, but you know it's probably probably pretty rich. But right now, because I didn't have any gasoline laying around, I'm running on a combination of white gas and a little bit of uh, a fuel additive. So um, we'll see how it runs. I also have a 92 here once I do my exhaust and some other engine work that I plan on doing. But I'm going to try this 90 first and see how we do here. So I'm going to put this back together. And uh, pretty straightforward. This goes in, up, and then the main jet follows and holds it in there. So see how it goes. All right, so I put the bowl back on. And uh, went together real easy. You just want to do everything kind of hand tight. doesn't need to be very tight. So turn the fuel back on. Give it a little choke. Turn the power switch on over here. First pull. Normally, normally when I would start this thing up the first time, it wouldn't run. I couldn't do this. It wants to go really bad right now. So, anyway, sometime I'll get a video of me driving it. Works pretty good. So anyway, that's how you change a main jet. Um, if anyone wants to know how to actually take the carburetor off, um, just repost and uh, I can pull it for you. So anyway, but that's how you rejet it. And I get all the jets from uh, just this uh, online place, real cheap, not that uh, big of a deal. So anyway, uh, that's it. So if you want any other information, uh, send me a message. Thanks.